Today our topic is Limit State Method and Working Stress Method. So move towards our today's topic. Introduction Working Stress Method and Limit State Method is a technique of designing a structure. The cardinal difference between the working state method and restrict state technique is that working stress method is an elastic design technique, whereas limit state method is a plastic design technique. Working stress method, the working stress design method, is a method used for reinforced concrete design, where concrete is treated similar to elastic steel and concrete, wherein the relationship between load and stress is linear. This method basically assumes that the structural material behaves in a linear elastic manner and that adequate protection can be ensured by appropriately restricting the stresses in the material induced by the expected working load on the structure. Advantage of working stress method. This technique is simple in calculation and simple to understand. This methodology provides the worst combination of loadings and higher efficiency throughout excessive conditions. The serviceability requirements are sufficient for the working stress method disadvantages of working stress method this offers an uneconomical design of the structure it doesn't apply the true value of the safety factor it is a time consuming method limit state method the limit state method also known as load and resistance factor design is a technique that considers the ultimate strength of the material which is ignored in the working stress method and also assures that the structure is serviceable for its intended period of design. Within the limit state method of design, the construction shall be designed to withstand all load liable to behave on it throughout its life with the suitable factor of safety. It will also satisfy the limits of all serviceability requirements, such as deflection and cracking etc. Advantages of limit state method. It uses a modern way of designing a structure that encompasses a wide range of logical and technical considerations. It includes separate consideration of different kinds of failure, type of material, and type of load. This provides an economical design of the structure. Disadvantages of limit state method. It uses a possible approach for design, so it cannot provide sufficient power and serviceability during the worst combination of loads and peak conditions. If you enjoyed our today's video, then like and share our today's video and subscribe our channel.